Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Desi Talks Everything. Today I'm very happy that I finally got a chance to do this because I remember I said in one of my Q&As that I was going to um, explain to you guys how I got saved and I wanted to do a special episode about that. So here we go. So I remember I started uni in 2013 and I was basically that good child good grades good everything i used to go to church every sunday and all that jazz and i remember like i got to university and i just yeah did what most people do and just kind of get carried away and my grades were fine and everything but i remember like i had i had this thing where i didn't like to be bored and so i would then i started going clubbing raving whatever it was just it was it was a mess and the funny thing was it didn't make sense like it, it basically i just i did one mad 180 like it was just really really awful and i remember i was just doing a lot of stuff i wasn't proud of and um it was my tw 21st birthday when i started my second year and i got so wasted it was awful and i remember the next day i woke up and I was just like, what the hell happened to me? Like, how did I get to this point? Like, it was basically, I remember my friends were in the kitchen the day after because they didn't want to go home and leave me. And I was in my room. And for some reason, like, I just remember sitting on my bed and just going, what? What? And I just, I remember I promised myself from that day onwards, I was not going to touch alcohol because I was just like, how did Vanessa go from this to this? Like, it was so awful. And then I remember... The um two I think it was two weeks before my twenty first it was Freshers Fair and my friend had told me to come to her table because I didn't know what that society was it was called the Radical Youth Society I didn't know what that society was never heard of it and I remember I said to her do you have sweets at your table because I've got a sweet tooth I was like she's like oh yeah we've got all sorts of sweets I'm like okay, I'm gonna come and sign up so I went there I got my mums and all my sweets and things like that I got them and I went and then two weeks later I'm like you know what it's a Monday because they used to meet on Monday so I thought it's a Monday. Let me just go check out Radical Youth for the first time and that was it. I don't, I can't exactly explain to you that there was this cloud that came upon my head and God's voice was like, my daughter, this is, no, nah, it didn't happen like that. It was just basically Radical Youth and that's the thing about how I got saved. My circle changed and it was just so beautiful because I then started to have this mentality of this is what you should be doing, this is what you shouldn't be doing and then that same week I joined God's Vineyard Church and that became my family and it was the Radical Youth Society I remember I went to her table because she had sweets I've got a sweet tooth and all that jazz so I then decided to try the, like the fellowship out and it was like it was just so weird and that was that was basically it I joined the church associated with that society the Sunday after I joined the society and I used to go every Sunday and I met I made most of my friends and most of my closest friends right now are from Radical Youth and Basically, from that time, I started to go to church more regularly because my fourth year, I had like, my, my fourth year, sorry, <laughs> my first year, I had like, I tried out like six churches. I didn't go to church for like four months, ex except I came to London, I wasn't going to church. So it was just like, Radical Youth did help me because it surrounded me with like-minded people. And the Bible even says, I didn't realize this was, this was in the Bible before, but if you, if all communication corrupts good um, character so if you're hanging out if you're hanging out with the wrong people it's only a matter of time before they start to rub up on you and if you know if, if, even if you like when they say things like one bad apple spoils the bunch and it's just it, that's how it works it's only a matter of time before your friends start to change you so when you are with like-minded people christian people like yourself then you start to develop that kind of character but if you're um, if you hang out with people who club all the time who rave all the time all they want to do is turn up it's only a matter of time before your grades start to go down before you start to do what they're doing and the reason i started to do things like that was because i felt left out but then i had when i got saved i had a completely different purpose my purpose was now to serve god to please god to live my life the way god wants me to why because that's what he says in his word and i started to read the bible more often i started to live my bible basically the bible was my guideline for how to live and before you know it and radical youth is so huge like you have so many you can't Oh my goodness, it's so big. Like, you meet so many people older than you, younger than you, so many pastors, alumni, everybody, and you just get to fellowship with like-minded people like yourself. So, that was that was basically it. For God, God, I'm telling you, I felt like, so, sometimes I feel like God created Radical Youth just for me. Like, God used Radical Youth to pull me out of that nonsense. And I just thank God that that happened because 
had I not gone to radical youth, God knows what could have happened to me, you know. And I'm, I do thank God as well because there's no lasting damages. I just remember there's some things I didn't want to do. Like I got forced to do due to peer pressure. But we thank God that, you know, we have something called grace. So through grace, I was able to start again. And I never get ashamed, you know, sharing it that, yeah, Vanessa did do some stuff that she was not proud of. But at the end of the day, I am human. I do ask for forgiveness. And that was it. So if you have a feeling like, oh, I've done the worst, you haven't done the worst. Let's, let's be honest. Like, God loves you so much that he sent his only son to die for you. Like, if Jesus had to come back just to die for you, again, just you, not anybody else, he would die for you. That's how that's how important you are to God. So don't ever feel like you strayed back so far that you can't come in. That's a lie. All you have to do is turn around and walk back, finish. And God God will just wipe everything off from his memory like it never happened. And you will start again. And living your life for God is so amazing. Your life actually has purpose. It's not everyday turn up. It's not everyday, oh, let's go chill. Let's go Netflix. And chill. No, no, no. You're actually living your life for a purpose you 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 actually have things that you want to do for god and it will change your character when you're doing things for god it will change the way that you think it will change the way that you behave it will change the way that your mind works and everything that everything that you do you will question it what the moment it's not in line with god's purpose you will question your actions and that's how it's supposed to be you should live your life for god so how i got saved that was literally it was nothing elaborate spectacular like oh my god there was a deep thunder lightning strikes the rain fell everything would turn upside down and then no and one more thing i want to emphasize please don't wait for you to have one huge testimony don't wait till you find yourself in the ditch in some random country for you to come back to god don't wait until you have some lasting damage to come back to god do it now do it right now don't wait until you have to give a testimony stand in front of a congregation and be like i have sinned and fallen short of the glory no right now just stop whatever it is that you know that you're doing that's not pleasing god stop it and come back to him because you just never know you never know what's going to happen today or tomorrow or whatever so the best time to go back to god if you're straight away from him is right right now 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 but yeah that's how nessie got saved and now i'm living my life for god and that's that about that but it's, it's an amazing feeling and thank you guys for you know listening to my short story i don't know how short this is but thanks for listening to me anyway and i'll see you next time oh. Black boy. Uncle Lighting. Black boy. That sounds very available, Vanessa's voice. Move back a bit now, Vanessa. Move back, move back. Move back. Where? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lois' voice. Lois' voice is fine, but your sister's voice is Because Lois has a, like, her voice is like, deep. I appreciate all that. This is perfect. Make me travel with you all together.